What's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video I'm going to show you uh, the third assignment of uh, second year computer engineering uh, in Savitri Bhai Phule University and here is the problem statement for the assignment. So the department library has n books and we have to write a C, C++ program to store the cost of books in an array and it should be in ascending order. So the books are to be arranged in the descending order of their cost. So you have to write the function to reverse the content of array without using temporary array. We need to copy cost of books those with cost less than 500 in new array. <coughs> delete duplicate entries using temporary array. Delete duplicate entries without using temporary array. And finally count number of books with cost more than 500. So I have written the code. So one second. Let me show you. Alright, so this is the code. So in this we have one structure which stores the name of the book, ID and cost. So this is in short an array of, we will create an array of this structure. Alright, so here is the pointer for it. So we have three pointers, temp array less than 500 and our array to store the details of books. Then we have these functions get data reverse less than 500, delete duplicate temp, delete duplicate no temp, number of books more 500 or more than 500, descending order display. So what these are doing, their name is self explanatory so you can guess what they are doing. Get data gets the data for the books, reverse will uh, reverse the content and less than 500 will get the books whose cost is less than 500 so let us go to the main and then we, we can start understanding this code so here we have created an object of library class in which we have all the functions and uh, the pointer to the structure then we are calling get data so initially we are getting the data so let us see what this function is doing so we are uh, asking for the number of books we are taking the book uh, we are creating the array of those books then we are asking the user to enter the details of the books like uh, book name, id, cost and that's it we are getting only the book details, books details for the library after that we are uh, arranging those into descending order of their cost so these are the, the this is the function which is doing that so we have used the bubble sort technique here we are uh, swapping the elements according to their cost so the highest cost book will come first all right after that we are displaying the books it's a simple code the id is not id should not be equal to zero all right then we are asking for the user to uh, to enter what he wants to do like he want to reverse the content or copy cost of books those are less than 500 and so on then we have this switch uh, where we are mapping the requirement of the user if he wants to reverse the content he will enter one so it will come into this case right so he will reverse this reverse function is uh, swapping the contents from first to last like the first element will be swapped with the last element the second will be swapped with the second last element in that way. This is the code for it. n by 2 and so on. So this is the same logic for uh, which we have used in the uh, in the bubble sorting. But instead of for two for loops, we have used only one for loop, and this condition is there. Where only half of the elements have been swapped with the rest of the half. Alright, so we are again displaying the content. Alright, then we have this less than 500 where we are checking the cost which is uh, if it is uh, greater than 500. Alright, and then we are popping those into this. Alright. So here it should be, if it is less than it should be less than. Go to that function. We 
it should be less than okay yes so then we are displaying the the content of that array all right then we have delete duplicate so this is bit difficult to understand so let us go to that function So here we are creating a the temporary array of books. This is defined. This is the member variable, which is defined inside the class. All right. Then we have this uh, two for loops, and we are checking if it if the uh, ID already uh, is present or, or it has been present twice inside the array. So this s of i will will run for all the rest of the elements. Like for a zero, it will start from one. Like for one, it will start for two. In the same way, it will check for the rest of the elements. And if it is present, it will make this k one. And we are copying those elements where the k is zero. All right. So it means that there is no id present again. All right. Then we are deleting s, which is which was our main array, and then we are assigning. Uh, the temporary array which we created just now to the main pointer, the main array pointer, as you can see. So in short, we are deleting the elements. Then with no temp, we have uh, this logic, where if if we found any element uh, or ID again present in the array, we are just assigning that ID to zero. So while displaying, we are not displaying the zero ID elements. Right, so in, in 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 one sense, it is present, but we are making it zero. So we are deleting it. In short, then number of uh, books more than five hundred. So which is here. So the cost should be greater than five hundred, and ID should not be equal to zero. Right. Then we are displaying those elements. <clears throat> so I will show you uh, two three functions, and rest of them you can try on your own. If you want this code, the link is uh, given in the description box below. And if you want any other video, please let me know. So let us uh, do it. Let us say I have three books. Book one, ID is one, cost is four hundred. Book two, ID is two, cost is six hundred. Book three, ID three, <coughs> cost eight hundred. So this is the content, eight hundred, six hundred, four hundred. So it has uh, made it according to the descending order of the cost. All right. Then what we will do? We will see the number of uh, cost of books is less than five hundred. So let us see this. There is only one book. All right. In a similar way, you can check for the rest of the functions. I will show you one more. Test on them. You can try. Alright. All right. So let us <coughs> see this uh, reverse the content. So you can see forty sixty six hundred and three three zero zero. So that's it. You can try the rest of the functions by your own. And thanks for watching, guys. And do subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank, thank, thanks for watching.